But there are literal supersized basketballs not far on Monument Circle. Yeah, but there's more beyond the ball. WRTV's Taj Simmons is live just north of Monument Circle tonight to explain. Hi, Taj. Hey, well, let me explain what a basketball usually looks like. It's about this size. It's orange. It bounces. But the basketballs that are in Monument Circle look a lot more creative than this. There are currently six of them on the circle, 24 in total. Colorful art projects, the intersection of all-star and art for this glorious weekend. How many ways can you draw a basketball? It's not a trick question. It's an art exhibition. <laughs> This industrious railroad underpass on Pennsylvania Street, just south of Gamebridge Fieldhouse, is now a vibrant showcase of Indiana artists and our statewide obsession with basketball. Some of those artists went beyond painting basketballs. They painted on basketballs for the Hoosier Historia Project, giant basketballs that showcase great moments in our state's hoops history. I was going in the the album for sure. Several of those supersized spheres are now parked on Monument Circle and they're making a great impression already. It looks amazing so far. So all the art, you know, all these uh, the stages, the lights, man, everything looks real good. Jadid Charles and Brent White aren't tourists. They're Hoosiers who work around the corner from the circle. Even though they're locals, they discovered more about their home state thanks to these basketballs. I've been trying to take everything in, but it looks good, you know, like, you know, the colors and everything. It's a lot of uh, Indian history on it, it looks like. So we're going to check them out and, you know, learn some things probably we didn't know before. The basketballs and the murals could still excite Hoosiers long after the all-star crowd is gone. The murals, of course, will continue to liven up the steely confines of this underpass, but the Hoosier Historia Project will spread throughout the state. Some statues will go to the communities they showcase. Others are still looking for a permanent home after all-star weekend. It's not about how many ways you can draw a basketball. It's about how these basketballs draw you in and inspire you. Kind of easy to get drawn in when the basketballs don't look like this shade of orange. But if you want to learn more about those Hoosier story of basketballs, the NBA wrote up all 24 stories. And if you go down there, there are QR codes you can scan so you can learn those stories as they happen. But of course, those will be there as long as All-Star Weekend is going on. For now, live near Monument Circle, Tosh Simmons, WRTV. All right, Tosh, thank you. And one of the biggest spots for NBA All-Star fans is opening tomorrow. It's called NBA Crossover. It's basically a huge fan fest that runs tomorrow through Sunday at the Indiana Convention Center. It includes multiple basketball courts, spots to get exclusive merchandise. There are interactive experiences as well as player appearances. You know, this is just crazy. It's just it's so because when I'm in patient game, it's the same way. I get to meet, greet, take pictures with the young and the old. Young fans, it's all great. Like the spirit, it's a good thing, man. In the city, the patients are rising up. We're going to be getting ready and steady. So, hey, we ready to flow and go. They know. City knows. Woo, throw the back. Rail up, baby. <laughs> well, tickets are $20 for kids and $35 for adults. There is a $150 VIP option that gives you the opportunity to get into crossover an hour before the general public. You would also get priority seating for NBA crossover conversations and access to a lounge. Again, this is all at the Indiana Convention Center tomorrow through Sunday.